Okay everyone, so welcome to the very first Can We Complete episode of Sonic the Hedgehog, which is personally one of my favourite games, and uh, definitely one that I think of my childhood. Um, so we're going to give it a go, so that the way this works is, uh, this is just the, the loading screen mode, this isn't me playing, I'm not this good. This um, is the demo. Yeah, so the way it'll work is we're just going to play through the game, when someone dies we just hand the controller over. Simple premise, been, been done a million times by a million YouTubers, but we're crap at games, so let's see how we go. We'll probably screw it up as well. Probably. Let's give it a go, let's see what happens. So I'm going to go first. My name's Lee, by the way, for all you people that give a shit. So let's rock and roll. Green he's, Hill Zone. He's the second best uh, Sonic player of the group. That's a compliment. <laughs> I'll take that. And you're going to see how good I am. This is uh, iconic, this level. It's just absolutely beautiful. Music and graphically. But even, yeah, like the graphics. Look how fresh it is. It's just an amazing well, game. Oh, I'm for its time, I mean, <laughs> when was it released? 1991, yeah. It? Um, yeah, I mean, there were there were good games out at that time, but visually, I mean, this just looks a cut above, doesn't it? It looks like it's had some real care. Back when people gave a shit about making yeah. Sonic games. For, um, Sonic 06 and all that. Well, this is all a Sonic game needs to be. Just good old fun. And it is. It's a fun game. Um, you might wonder why I'm taking my time. Uh, it's purely just to... Embrace the experience. I You're think. mesmerized by, yeah. by that water. Oh, uh, he missed it. Can ah, oh, <laughs> he's completely missed it. <laughs> he's never well, played this game before. There you go, second best Sonic player in the so group. So we swap in per level. Yeah, or? shall we? Yeah. Why not? Gives everyone a fair yeah. chance. So now Paul's gonna conquer Green Hills um, R2. I've got no rings, so I'll probably. Oh, there you go. We might even get a bonus level out of this. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice for the people that. Watching. If you have watched, by the way, thank you. And if you could give us a like and a subscribe as well, that would be cool. Because we are new to this and uh, it is just for a laugh. But it would be nice to get some views as well. And, of course, opinions are always welcome. Especially little trolly trolls that want to <laughs> make your little comments. That's welcome. If you want to go some, then go some. Exactly. <laughs> I take that <laughs> into <internet. laughs> But no, yeah, we're just two geeks having fun. We don't really care that much, to be honest. As you'll see, we're not that great. Spikes <laughs> are really weird. You know, like in the later, like closer together. Though it kind when I used to play this game, it used to freak me out. That, what the spikes? Yeah, they're just sort of split apart, aren't they? Do you, do you remember the first time you played this game? I remember the first time I played it, and I just sit there. I was probably about nine, maybe, which you know shows how old I am. But um, yeah, I remember playing it and I was mesmerised, but I was terrified. Like, I couldn't do certain levels, as you'll see later on, how we've missed the bonus again. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be a common theme. I was so taken aback by yeah. your story. If you're looking for 100%, you ain't getting it on this one. Um, yeah, so I played it the first time and I just remember like getting really scared of certain levels, like the Labyrinth Zone and even, to an extent, Green Hill. Oh, I didn't know that was there. There you go. A little uh, treat for you. So Not you that was, I'm going to make scared. much. Yeah, like because well, it's so kid. bright and colourful. But the, you know, just... I just could never complete it, and I was like, oh, you know, back before we had games and you the had internet, books, didn't you didn't you? have anything. I didn't even have that. It was a lot of money for a book. Yeah. So you just kind of had to guess. I always do that. I don't know why. Yeah, you just had to guess what you was. You just did that for nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, there is something there. Yeah. There we go. Damn, you know all the secrets. It's coming back to me. Um, I do remember playing oh, this for the first time, and uh, I think I was about five. I didn't play it when it first came out, um, but yeah, the Mega Drive or Genesis was my first console as a kid. I um, got it for Christmas, and um, I got it with Sonic 2, so I later went back to this game. But one of my first memories of uh, Sonic was um, I thought you had to hit into the spikes because it made loads of rings like spread out everywhere. I was like, oh cool, this is how you get loads of rings. Yeah. Uh, and it weren't until later on that I realised that you were losing those rings. <laughs> exactly. And what a cool boss, you know, when you first hear this theme from da -da -da -da, it was such yeah. a great This is what thing. scared you. <laughs> that evil little egg man. He was called Robotnik at the 
to my eyes. I'm awful at this. I That's can't. the thing, you you have to be under the platform there, don't you? You do, and he's or done you it have again. To time it. Oh, oh there perfect. you go. Yeah, I don't know why. Um it's because I'm not using the D pad and I'm trying to be risky. <laughs> You're living on the edge. You have to use the D pad for games like this. There we go, done him. Done you mate. Um, it's a really good boss fight though. Yeah, um, did that with one ring. I'm impressed with that. There you go, little animals. Run away. So there you go. That's Green Hill Zone, which is by far one of the best opening levels or acts, if you will, in game history. Just look at that water. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It? Yeah, it really is. It's great. Great game. Right. Um, I'm going to try the analog stick. He's going for the analog stick. It didn't work in the test, so <laughs> let's see. How, yeah, and it's not working. Up. We'll see okay, how it gets. Well, so yeah, um, it, by the way, if anyone is watching this, feel free to give us your Sonic memories, that'd be cool. Um, I love talking about Sonic for other people. Oh. Oh, um, did you see that? I don't that? know what Paul's doing here. Wow. I should have died, but just before I hit the fire, I grabbed the ring. That's skill. That was luck. That's the sort of thing you'd see on the TV cartoon, you know, where <laughs> you had to grab a ring or something. Is there something down there? There is. Rings galore. So, oh, yeah, that's um, creepy, that fire. This is actually probably what got me into gaming, I think, because I did have Meg Drive. I had the Master System version as well. Very laggy, if I remember. And I think what what got me into gaming was playing Sonic the Hedgehog and thinking, Jesus, all games need to be like this. It's amazing. And then realising not all games were made like this. And uh, I just fell in love with Sonic from a very young age. Yeah, I mean, it, it's easy to... Uh to fall in love with Sonic really it's very appealing it's quite funny because you watch it through rose tinted glasses don't you really I mean yeah. like we look at the, the newer Sonic games and I feel quite depressed that younger people aren't going to get to play well they will get to play they can just buy this game dirt cheap or rom it or whatever but I think it's um, a shame that Sonic yeah is it's such a simple game to get right and yeah. it's just too overcomplicated. whether it's too many extra characters or Silly mini games. I actually got stuck on this um, when I first played it at that part, and I remember going to school and uh, sitting at lunchtime with my mates, um, describing where I was stuck. And uh, one of them told me what I had to do to get past it. Push yeah, the thing and on that's there. the thing. You you didn't Google it because there was no Google. Yeah, you went to school. You chatted in the playground. Yeah. God, you sound old. <laughs> no, but it's true. And the only Google you had was possibly Gary Google, who was in the same class, you know. <laughs> like, you didn't have anyone that could do it. There you go. That's my stand-up comedy career kicking off there. Well done, him. Yeah, that's pretty good, mate. Thanks, man. And uh, for more... What else you got in that cutting script? commentary. <laughs> yeah. If only we had scripted it. We'd... Whoa. See, that's scary. Like, the first time you come through here, you jump up here, you're like, where do I go? Oh! Yeah, and then there Look it is. That. Can I do this? Alright. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> I didn't sound like I believed in myself at all. No, there was no belief, <laughs> and that's that's kind of what these oh. can we complete it are gonna be. No belief in the fact that we can. Oh, fun times. I'll just get scared I'm gonna get squashed. It's again, this is just one of those levels that the the background, look at it with the the little ancient Greek style. Um, I can't even know what they're called, but the temples in the mountains. background and stuff. <laughs> no, the mountains behind. Oh yeah, the ancient Greek mountains, because they're so different from any <laughs> other kind of mountain. <laughs> but even the clouds, look at that. Bob Ross would be proud of those clouds. <laughs> get the ring. Yes. Yes. We're going to get a Chaos Emerald. Maybe. <laughs> probably not. I'm playing, so we won't. <laughs> Give it a go. And, you know, we're probably going to get that in the comments. Oh, this is how you get it. You know, we don't care. So. This isn't a perfect run, it's a... It's not even a good run. <laughs> We're just oh, showing our love of video games. Oh. That's all it is. It's all about looking back and going, oh, do you remember how great this was? Remember how... Wow, oh. there you go. Oh, oh. just fluked that one. Nah, I knew what I was doing there. Yeah, definitely. And this used to trip the hell out of me. What, like, the fish in the background? What's that all about? Um, you know... There's just some random stuff. He's, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's, he's not going to do it. Oh, no. There you go. It's so close there. But it purposely puts you off, yeah. doesn't it? With the uh, backgrounds and that. It's mad. 